everybody, it's is Sarah and today I'm going to be showing you how to do makeup for glasses. Huh? Um, I, I've actually done a video like this before but it's been well over a year, maybe even two years since I uploaded that and I thought it'd be really fun to do an updated version um, since a lot has changed since then. Uh, for example, my frames are a lot different. The other ones were wiry and thin and these are really thick and they're blue. They're not even black anymore. Uh, I've also learned a lot about makeup and, you know, I actually did something with my eyebrows this time. <laughs> um, so I thought it'd be really fun to do a new look and if you want to see how to do this one, then just keep watching. So to start off with, I'm just going to pin back my hair. I curled it today to film and I got a little carried away, so it's got... A lot of volume and a mind of its own. Um, and I'm also going to start off with the face. Um, the face is pretty important all the time, I guess, really, when you think about it. But it's also uh, pretty important when you have glasses. And, I and I'll show you why. I'm going to first apply Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I really like it, even though the name is a little creepy. Baby Skin. So, I um, forgot to show you, but I did like a pea-sized amount. So I'm just going to smooth that all over the face. Next I'm going to apply my foundation and I'm using the Revlon Nearly Naked makeup um, yeah, in 180 medium beige which also has SPF 20. So I'm just going to pour a little bit onto my hand. I really like it but I hate how it doesn't have like a pump or something or like a squeezy tube or something um, just feels really gross because sometimes the makeup goes back in and that's just not good because um, that means like lots of air and bacteria can get in there so Revlon I'd really appreciate <laughs> a pump or something so just everywhere and then I also have um, an expert face brush by Real Techniques I'm just going to gently buff this all in and I really, really love this brush because it's very dense and it really um, provides a flawless finish. Um, doo -doo -doo. I actually bought this foundation early in the summer so it's a little bit light for me. Um, and it's, uh, I'm also being washed out with the, the window, the giant window washes me out. So I look a little light right now but it We'll fix that. I'm just buffing. Buff, buff, buff. Okay, so for the most part, you really shouldn't have to change your foundation too much with glasses. But one thing I would recommend, especially if you're like me and you have very thick frames like this, um, the thick frames will cast a shadow along the perimeter, um, which can make your under eye circles look really dark or darker if you're like me and you already have under eye circles. So what I would recommend is a brightening concealer. Here I have the Rimmel London Match Perfection Skin Tone Dapping Concealer. It's a two-in-one concealer and highlight, and I'm in the color 060 Natural Beige. So I'm just going to squeeze some out. And then apply some in a triangle formation under the eye. Like so, and then just blend it in. And to blend, I'm just going to use the same um, Real Techniques brush that I used for the rest of the foundation. I'm going to set that all in place with my face powder. This is from MAC and it's their Studio Fix Press Powder in number C4. So you can see I've already hit pan and I'm, you know, scraping along the edge right here. So I'm going to use the powder brush by Real Techniques. Just load it up and then set under the eyes and also along the T-zone and any place where I get oily. So now moving on to the eyes. Um, for pretty much all of the eyeshadow that I'm going to be using today, I'm using the Lorac Pro Palette and oh my gosh, it's amazing. I really love it and I searched high and low for it and I finally got my hands on it. Um, okay, I'm also going to prime with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Undercover Eye Primer. I'm going to apply some to the lid and also to the eyebrows because I put eyeshadow there, so why wouldn't I want to prime there as well? 
next on an angled eyeliner brush this is from Sigma I'm going to take espresso right here it's the matte brown color and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with uh, that color um, one thing that I think is really important with um, any eye look but glasses in particular is your eyebrows because your eyebrows frame your eyes um, and they also frame your eyeglasses whenever you wear them so it's just something I like to emphasize um, with any eye look. I basically like to keep my brow game super strong. So now for the actual eye look. The different effect that you want actually depends on your glasses. Or the lens, I should say. What I mean by this is um, you should take into account what kind of effect your lenses create on your eyes if any at all. So if you'll see with my glasses in particular, um, they're so strong and then the way that they're shaped um, actually makes my eyes look a little bit smaller. So because of that, with the any eye look that I create for my glasses, I want to make my eyes look bigger to sort of compensate for the fact that the lenses make my eyes look smaller. Vice versa also applies if your um, glasses make your eyes look really big, you can wear like a lot of uh, black liner in the waterline and that'll make your eyes look a little bit smaller and help you compensate for that as well. The first color I'm going to take is light bronze on a flat shader brush. I'm just going to apply this all over the eyelid. Shimmery shadows definitely help in making the eyes look really big and open and awake. Next I'm going to take gold which is obviously a gold shimmery color, and apply that to the very center of the eyelids. Next, I'm taking taupe, which is a medium brown matte color, and on a fluffy tapered blending brush, I'm just going to run that into the crease and blend all the shadows together. Next, I'm going to go back to Sable, and with a uh, tapered, sorry, angled liner brush, I'm going to run that along my lower lash line. Um, I'm going to add some like shadow and depth uh, under the eyes, but not into the waterline. So that's going to keep the eyes looking very open and big. Um, I'm basically going to create a very thick uh, winged liner. Um, because a thick line on top of your eyes will make them look bigger and more open and awake. So first, I do the top line and kind of get that to the thickness that I want. probably leave out most days is mascara just because um, when your lashes touch the lens it can get really frustrating just having to clean those smudges all the time so if you want you can skip that and I think that's perfectly reasonable but I really like lashes so I'm not going to um, and another product that I was testing out and I really wanted to like talk to you guys about was the um, Physicians Formula Organic Wear Black Mascara I also don't really like it. It provides really good volume and thickness and it looks really nice but it flakes so much and it's just not the best in terms of longevity. So instead I'm going to be using the Buxom Lash uh, Mascara in Blackest Black and I'm also going to curl my eyes, eyelashes um, with the Bobbi Brown Eyelash Curler. For the face, first I'm going to bronze and I'm using this giant bronzer from Wet n Wild and it's in number 739, it's called Ticket to Brazil. So I'm taking on a giant fluffy brush. I'm going to tap some off because it's very pigmented. And then just gently run it like along the cheekbones. 
the temples and the jawline in a three sorry just knock my own glasses off 3e formation And now for blush, I'm going to be using this one by Physicians Formula, and it's their pH matchmaker in natural. So I'm going to take this on a blush brush, and then just run it along the apples of the cheeks. Okay, so now it's time for the really fun part, which is the lips. I think the coolest thing about like, wearing glasses is that you don't have to put a whole lot of effort into your eyes. I think just like a winged liner and mascara is a great combination. Uh, I like to add some extra because I just love my shimmery, uh, my shimmery shadows, especially gold. Um, the glasses themselves accessorize your eyes enough to the point where you don't really have to put in a whole lot of effort for this area to look super nice. Um, and that also makes it really easy to wear really fun, bright colors, which is what I'm going to do today. I'm using the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in, where is it, 210 Unapologetic. So it's a really bright um, coral color, kind of orange, but not too orange. It doesn't make the teeth like a yellow at all. And it's a really nice formula. I'm a big fan of mattes currently. I'm just kind of done with shiny sticky glossy types and i just want matte so i'm gonna slap this on and finish off the lips so like i said it's a really bright color and it's very bold but i think it's a great way to um, effortlessly look great with glasses. Um, that's pretty much it for today's look. I really hope you enjoyed and that you take inspiration from this. I also hope you have a really lovely day and I think you're awesome and I will see you next time. Bye!